Good evening. There are hundreds of planes in the air across the United States right now. Any other day, air traffic controllers have a team of people helping them to make sure they accomplish their one goal, keep these planes from colliding. But there's nothing easy about being an air traffic controller, especially at a hub like Nashville International Airport. Tonight, as we approach the mark for the longest government shutdown in history, concerns are growing. News Channel 5's Nick Barris tells us how the shutdown is making an already pressure-packed job all the more stressful. Here at the Nashville International Airport, the air traffic controllers, they're on the job with, or as they found out today, without pay. Now, we were hoping to do an on-camera interview, but they're so busy way up there in the tower, we had to settle for a phone call. Because obviously, you know, we, we save lives every day. You know, we work in, a, in an environment where we are expected to be correct 100% of the time. Some would say there is no more crucial job in aviation than air traffic controller. Yes, they are essential. Controllers must work during the government shutdown, but... Zero pay for air traffic controllers as of today. And for them to have to worry about that while they're supposed to be separating airplanes is unconscionable to me. The level of stress and the level of, of uh, uh, precision that air traffic controllers exercise on a daily basis is mind-blowing. Jason Morgan pilots Sky 5 and has flown commercial planes. He knows the shutdown is hard on air traffic controllers. They are more than likely uh, definitely, they're definitely working overtime right now. They're, they're, being, they're being stretched thin. So is it still safe to fly? Jim Marinitti with the National Air Traffic Controllers Association and a controller himself says yes. It absolutely is safe to fly. But he says controllers are now basically alone in towers without any of the typical support staff they usually have to help run daily operations. He offers this comparison. If you were planning to go have some sort of procedure, if you're planning to go have heart surgery and you go meet with the surgeon and you realize he's not being paid and he's not allowed to have his support staff, there's no anesthesiologist, there's no nurses there to, to assist him. He has to do it by himself. That's how the air traffic controllers are feeling today. They are doing their job, but in time, flights may have to be canceled to reduce the workload and ensure continued safety. So the bottom line, experts say it is still safe to fly. But the longer this government shutdown continues, more pressure will be put on the air traffic controllers who are already working a pressure-packed job. In Nashville, Nick Barris, News Channel 5. Thanks, Nick. Nashville International is one of the fastest growing airports in the country, and the tower was already incredibly busy and looking to hire more controllers even before the shutdown.